Hey everyone, it's Jen, and this is your Urban Decay eyeshadow exclusive. I am using the Ammo palette, the Vice 1 palette, and the Vice 2 palette to get this look. So if you want to have a look at how I achieved that, go ahead and continue watching onto the tutorial. So I started off by um, priming my eye with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and this is in the shade Original. I'm going to start off highlighting underneath my brow, and I'm going to use Polyester Bride, which is this color right here. And this is from the Ammo Palette. So taking my Sigma Short Shader E20, I'm just going to apply that underneath my brow bone, or underneath my brow anyway. And then kind of pull it down. Alright, so next I'm going to start in the lower part, like near my crease transition area, um, and then I'm going to work my way back up blending out the highlight we just applied, but I want to start with Laced, and this is from the um, Urban Decay Vice palette. So this is Laced right here. It's just a matte, um, kind of beigey color, and I'm going to take my Tapered Blending E35 brush from Sigma. And I'm just going to blend that all in this crease area and, and the transitional, like this area here. Just blend that out. Um, it's not going to really show up too much uh, depending on your skin tone, but um, you definitely want to use something that's going to match yours. I'm pretty pasty white right now, so I'm going to use like the lighter colors but um, yeah whatever your skin tone is if you want to try this out just use a shade that's really close to your skin shade and blend that out close to your crease okay so the next color I want to use is called habit and it is from the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette and it's this color right here sorry it's a bit dirty because I just did my other eye but so it's called habit and it's a little bit lighter than the shade laced from the vice palette and so what I want to do is blend in between as you can see on this I have already done this one so blend in between laced and then um, what is it called again polyester bride and just blend it out so that there's really no harsh seams as you can see this side you can pretty much see the line where this goes so you just want to blend that out as much as possible there's going to be a lot of blending so if you have a good blending brush that's great if not you're going to probably want to go um, back and forth between the colors until those edges are gone all right so sticking with your vice 2 palette or choosing any kind of uh, pinky shade. I'm going to take this color right here, which is called X Rated. So, any like soft baby pink, you're going to take your um, Sigma Blending E25 brush or any kind of blending brush that you have that's sort of um, thinner than this one that we used. So, this is the one that I used earlier to blend out all the transitions area colors and this is just going to be a little bit more precise um, it's a little more um, shorter like the the bristles are a little shorter and um, the brush isn't as poofy so this is going to be a little bit more precise in blending um, and I want to use that closer to my crease so I'm going to take x-rated and my Sigma blending e25 brush and I'm just going to take that real close into the crease area we will be blending quite a few colors there, so try not to use too, too much product, you just want to make a light hue.
All right, so next we're gonna do this around this eye. Um, taking last call from your ammo palette. It's gonna be this one here. I'm gonna take my small tapered blending brush from Sigma, and this is number E45. So as you can see, this blending brush has a point to the tip, and you definitely want one like that because this color is gonna go right in your crease. So take a bit of that on the tip, tap off any excess, and then just blend that along your crease. And make sure that your brush is either pointing like directly at your eye or downward because you don't want to get any product on your lid. Okay, and then using the same color, um, you're going to take just a short eyeshadow brush, mine's a little fluffier, um, and then take the last call color, same thing we're using in the crease, and just put that in either corner of your eye in a V formation, blending outward, I guess inward actually, blending inward, because you're going toward the middle of your eye, but leave the center space blank. So when you're looking straight onto your mirror, you're going to want that part like between your, I guess the color of your eye, you want that part a little bit clear, like you don't want any product there, because we're going to put a, a lighter color there later. So just the inner portions of your eye going about, uh, I guess, a, a third of the way in, and then just blend that inward. I'm just going to add a little bit to my crease and we're going to deepen all of this up um, in a little bit with more color but right now you just want it to kind of look soft and smoky okay so I'm going for a more shimmery eye so if you want to use um, a matte color in this next shade you totally can but I'm going to go back to my Vice 2 palette and I'm going to use the shade Lovesick which is like a shimmery black And if you don't have the Vice 2 palette, but you do have the Ammo palette, you can also use Oil Slick, which is very similar. It's just a little more shimmery, it looks like, like a little more glittery. Um, so yeah, you can totally use that color if you don't have anything to replace it. But what I want to do now is just take, I'm going to go with a small precision brush, and this is by e.l.f. Cosmetics. And I'm going to take Lovesick just a little bit on the tip and I'm going to drag that in my crease if you have a pencil brush that might work better for you as well I'm going to be blending this out shortly so you can totally apply however you'd like I just want to make sure I get some depth in there Okay, and then I'm going to go back in with that short little eyeshadow brush without adding any extra product and just kind of blend that out a little bit. We'll be going back and forth with product, adding this shade so that the black gets a little more pronounced. I'm going to go again in with um, Last Call just to kind of buff that black out a little bit. You can do this however you like. I'm just gonna go back and forth quite a bit with blending. So I'm gonna do that off camera and I will be right back with how that all looks once it's blended. I have the color in my crease now. So it's just adding some more depth. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep using that precision brush and the color Lovesick and I'm just gonna go into the inner and outer corner again just a lot smaller than what you had applied earlier so um, just kind of going in a little little V formation
Okay, so once you have that black on, take the same little eyeshadow brush you had with a little bit of last call and just blend the edge out. You don't want to take a lot of that black away, you just want to make sure that the edges are buffed together so that there's no seams. Okay, so I just want to blend um, a little bit more of X-rated, which is the pink color, and just kind of blend a little bit more up in here just to make it look seamless. And I also cleaned up under my eyes just a little bit. Now if this isn't bold enough for you, you can definitely um, put a lot more black in the inner and outer corner and um, make your color more pronounced in your crease, but um, yeah, I'm liking the way mine's looking, so I'm going to stick with this, and I'm going to move on by adding that center color. I'm just going to take um, an eyeshadow brush that I have here. It's just, um, I don't even know the brand, it's a spare source, oh, pff, I don't know, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take grifter which I'll show you the color so this is in your ammo palette and I'm just going to put that on the center of the lid and blend it out so you want to pack it on and then blend it And then I'm just going to take that eyeshadow brush that I had earlier with Last Call on it and blend that out too. Okay, so the eyeshadow is done. So I'm going to go and grab my eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back to show you guys what this looks like. Okay, so here is my eyes with eyeliner and mascara. Um, I added a double line. The first color that I put down was this purple eyeliner from Sephora. I'm not sure if you can really see it, but it should be faintly there. So I applied that first in a thick line um, with the wing going quite high and then like very, very thin out to the tip. And then I took the Sephora liquid liner in black, and this is number one. And this purple is number 14 called Violet, no sorry, um, Fancy Violet. Sorry, so yeah, Fancy Violet and this one is black. So just a basic black color and then I went over top of the purple just a little bit so that there's two lines. Um, but now I want to do underneath my eyes, so just add a little bit of color, nothing too severe. So I'm going to start by using Ultraviolet eyeliner by Avon and this is just a really really like purpley like violet shade so I'm going to apply that underneath um, my eye So just a very little bit. Um, I don't put it in my waterline because my waterline tears like crazy. So um, I need to set that and in doing so I will be um, I will be using Betrayal and this is from the Vice 2 palette. So I'm just going to take a precision brush or a soft um, Actually, you know what? I'm going to take my small smudge brush, and this is by e.l.f. Cosmetics, and I'm just going to um, apply that over top of that liner.
Alright, this is the final look. Um, my eyes are all done. I have all my eyeshadow on, eyeliners, mascara, no falsies today. Um, but yeah, I actually really like this look. I hope you guys like it too. Um, I'm just going to zoom out and show you full face. So I have heroin lipstick on um, with a little bit of liner. It's the same liner that I used on my eyes. Uh, I don't really have any other purpley or fuchsia tinted um, liners, so I had to use that one. But I love heroin lipstick. I'm so obsessed with it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this. Try it out and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.